hey there this is place here and um you know in today's video we're gonna be talking about how i got started on youtube and how i you know started making videos on youtube so you know it, and this is part of my thesis talk uh, episode episode five um currently um, i hope to do this um every week as that is my goal and i'm just you know the whole point of thesis talks is just mainly to share my thoughts my opinions hopefully it'll help you guys as well i don't know about that but hope it helps and you know if you like these types of videos um you know make sure to drop me a like and not only do i do these types of video i do also variety types of content i do gaming um you know reaction content as well but you know i do these every week so you know uh, for those of you who are watching on youtube hello uh, i usually stream this live over twitch.tv slash gzh place usually like a day before or like a few hours or so before you know i try to upload this as quick as possible you know in case some of you didn't catch my streams i can always link you guys back to the video but anyways you know if you as i say if you like these types of videos make sure you drop me a like to let me know comment down below uh, what other topics you want me to talk about next and you know i will be sure to talk about them also um you know if you haven't already make sure to subscribe to this channel as you know it helps me um, a lot in uh, making videos uh, like this and making content creation my whole entire career So um, let's start from the beginning shall we? So I was about 10 or 11 and you know um, I, I, I I got like a we had like a family tablet I think since I was about about 8 or 9 I would say around 9 okay so I got my like family tablet around 9 because my dad need, needs to use it for work so sometimes I'll borrow it to watch but I mean, it was mainly I just watched gaming videos like funny stupid videos um maybe played a bit of games you know like balloon steamy like all these types of kind of like crappy like mobile games that was my entertainment so um around i think 10 or around 10 or so i started um to watch like hey you know recommended right i started to watch a few tech videos and you know around 11 or so i got my first phone and my first phone wasn't a smartphone it was a samsung uh, i think galaxy i don't even know uh, so it's not galaxy jet it was like a middle of the ground smartphone like think of blackberry but like a full touch screen it's like a three or four inch touch screen it's like 480p i think or maybe less than that you know and it was like an old hand-me-down phone from my dad you know after he got his smartphone oh so, yeah uh which was like he switched to the smartphone about you know many years back so yeah that was about that and you know um i i still watch um videos on my tablet around you know um 12 years old i got really interested in tech like as go on got really interested in tech and when i'm like a primary i would say 13 around 13 i got my first smartphone which is the sony m sony xperia m4 aqua um pretty shit uh, compared to today but you know I used to play a lot of games on that and especially that was where i started to have my own phone and that is where i started to watch a lot a lot of tech videos and as the year gone on i just watched more and more and more and i'm more invested into it so around i would say um secondary like maybe uh because i was in secondary school so i would say around 14 years old was when you know i i figured out hey you know since i'm watching all these tech videos you know and there are a lot of unboxing videos why not make some so i just took a bunch of tech um you know bought a bunch of like cheap tech mainly from stores you know like gearbirds and things like that and i started like sort of reviewing them in a way um you know they're they on my personal like channel that i don't make videos on anymore it's that's kind of like archive tech so i mainly made like videos like that uh unedited just me unboxing stuff got my new phone sony xperia um xd premium started recording on that as well recording quality got better got to 4k um yeah but you know lighting and everything still pretty shit just handheld me recording stuff and around i would say um a year after that around 15 that is um you know when i started to get my computer and um for all of you who don't uh or for all of you who are asking you know um sort of um you know i guess um which people i watch a lot of i watch a lot of mkbhd austin evans and people like that so i watch a lot of that i guess a bit of techno buffalo and authority things like that 
So I watched a lot of those and you know, I got a computer, right? And then after that, I got a camera. So I became, uh, after I got my camera, I got more and more serious and I started to make um, videos, you know, on um, sort of on online on my technological gadgets channel. And I start, and also I sort of uh, bought sort of a um, few more online and I did so. And you know, the rest was kind of um, history. And after later, Bryden is still contacted me back and you know he started to edit for my tech channel so um that is uh, mainly for the tech channel part of it so let's move on to the gaming channel side of it which i think most of you are more interested in so for the gaming channel side of things as soon as i got my laptop i started playing games i pre-ordered battlefield 5 and i remember i played that and i decided hey why not just record some videos right so what i did was i realized um there's this thing called geforce now so I bought, I think, a headset, keyboard, mouse. I'm still using the mouse right now. So the mouse I had was the G903 PowerPlay mouse pad. I think um, with the G910 Orion Spectrum keyboard and the G933 um, Atomy Spectrum. Those broke, so yeah, it's a wireless headset. Um, yeah. I bought them on a bundle, I think, for offer. So uh, yeah, um, and I think around then that was the like hardest, like, you know, wireless sort of items of some sort. So yeah, I you know recorded with my um G933 like inbuilt headset microphone. So I recorded with that I think for about a year or so. So I recorded with that and I started playing um Battlefield 5. I started doing sniping montages as well, but most of my videos are just unedited. Um, you know, things like that. And then sometimes I use uh do put like sniping montages because G4 now is auto clipping. For Battlefield 5 they auto clip headshot, so I just a bunch of headshot compilations into one you know just based on you know whatever so um yeah and then i continue on to modern warfare right because i saw i was like oh modern warfare looks good and i pre-ordered that and yeah i kind of regretted buying battlefield 5 because it wasn't as good after playing like modern warfare right so after like playing modern warfare i was like damn you know that game's pretty good so i record more and more like um since i think more people watch my modern warfare gameplay than my uh battlefield um five gameplay because my modern warfare gameplay is like more shorter you know it's like i think five or six minutes match like team death match domination things like that generally shorter and you know i uploaded a lot of those i'll just you know during the loading screen i'll be like oh you know show you guys the loadout and then when you know the screen comes out show you the map i'll be like hey guys you know stuff like that and then i record it like that for about i guess a um however long that is until i got uh my like old microphone which is a usb microphone so i got that and then i recorded a lot on that and got boom arm and stuff like that and my whole entire setup upgraded especially the audio and you know back then i i didn't use a webcam and then after that i used my you know as soon as i got my camera i tried to find a hacky way to use it as a webcam you know by screen recording the sort of app uh, the desktop app that it comes with you know or like remote recording or, or, or whatever it's like a remote view fine really laggy but it kind of worked and you know i started to do more of that so yeah and then after that upgraded my whole entire setup upgrade more and more things and it kind of got me to here and, you know change a couple of mics finally got a capture card for my camera you know it looks much better now more smoother and then yeah basically the rest was um history so i used to have like an editor edit my um, stuff and then after that you know when i got into streaming which might be in the later um, video you know um you know i after that i got into athena scope and then after that i realized oh you can do real you know, highlights and stuff so i managed to just compile my own highlights together and not get the editor and post clips and things like that on tiktok on youtube shots and then mostly edit you know Big compilations and stuff like that and then i started doing also more reaction videos because i know that's pretty popular and a lot of people like it and a lot of people like to know you know <coughs> sorry about that what i sort of um oh i just choked <coughs> uh what i you know what my opinions are on certain things and my reactions on certain things so that did pretty well and you know until today i gained more and more subscriber the growth has been slowly but surely increasing a bit you know 
mean you know one percent increase is better than zero percent increase right oh there you go um hopefully you know i'll be able to make this channel and my tech channel and you know all of this my career i'll be able to create content or career you know so for you guys to watch and you know, to keep you guys entertained and stuff like that so that's how i got started on youtube it may sound kind of boring but um, this is sort of my truth i know different people have different experiences you know some people might be oh because they lose their job decided to give youtube a try you know different things like that um so you know i would say um support as many um youtubers um if you can because i know a lot of youtubers especially smaller youtubers those that really put like effort into their content and consistently upload it is not um, not easy at all you know to be able to record because you only may see us like you know 10 minutes you know um but you know we we do sometimes edit for very long um, periods of time you know plan as well you know even though and you know this is unedited but i have a script i plan everything so i know what to say and things like that uh you know like pointers for me it's just mainly pointers but you know anyways um yeah make sure to support um youtube creators especially smaller youtube creators who are trying to make it out in this industry you know and you know be sure to like the video if you like these types of videos and you know i hope this sort of helps you and inspire you in creating your own um, youtube channel for those who are interested you know i believe that y'all can do it you know if i can do it y'all can do it you know and if you don't see progress don't stop just keep on doing because you never know one of the videos might pop off you know blow up your channel or you might just consistently gain a bit a bit a bit more subscribers viewers and things like that and improvement is always better than no improvement but you know anyways um i hope you like this video so far uh you know comment down below um what types of i guess content you'd like me to talk about and i'll be sure to um, talk about them if you know i can um you know anyways um as you know these uh, episodes are streamed on twitch.tv slash dch please so uh, make sure to check me out um, there and you know for weekly episodes i usually film the day before or a few hours before the video is uploaded hey who knows maybe by the time the video is uploaded i might feel like and you know things like that also manage to uh, make sure to subscribe to this channel if you like to see more content like this these talks hopefully every week and more reaction and gaming content as well as but not least thank you all so so much for watching and hearing get hearing just a random dude online i'm ranting and stuff about that and you know talking about stuff i really appreciate um, every single one of you who stick through like until now and hope to see you in the next video or in my streams